I have EJ oh. here too. He's just getting situated. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. It'll be nice to meet him. Um, so we're going to start with a little meditation and um, this one, because I think <laughs> a, a lot of people are experiencing chaos. Um, I'm going to give people a few more minutes. Did, did they leave? Looks like I, I think they're just um all unmuted for a minute. No, I'm just not seeing them. Let's see, speaker view. No, I think it's just you and me right now. I I can see the other person's picture on the screen. Can you? I'm here too. I just muted you for a second. Oh, I yeah. can't. I can't see you. My cat's here. Oh, that's, <laughs> not surprised. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to start with this meditation um, as people start coming in. Um, but I, I do want to talk about last week in the eclipse. So let me just mute this. Okay, there we go. Ready? Welcome. So everybody welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Great you. to see you all. Okay, I am just going to talk a little bit, just briefly about last week's eclipse uh, because it was monumental as a lot of people experienced. It wasn't just the fact that the moon was over the sun and it went into darkness for four minutes. This was a huge reset for the world. And uh, a lot of people's, um, everybody's <laughs> vibration was, was catapulted. Uh, there's, it's a new planetary frequency. And of course, when there's a new planetary frequency, we're all gonna experience, you know, maybe a little weirdness, a little shift and may feel like, wow, I don't know if I'm coming or going. You may question who you are. You may be wondering um, what's going on. And so um, with this new frequency, we all need to take a deep breath. And, and I mean this physically, literally, and in that breath, take a pause. We are so used to pushing, 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 pushing with our energy. And this time right now, it's a time for moving slowly, not taking um, huge steps without slowly planning and being certain of where we want to go. So for me personally, this is what I've done. I Last week was a pretty quiet week. And as a matter of fact, the universe gave me a flu bug. So I spent a lot of time sitting in meditation, laying in bed, resting. And so um, make sure that you're hydrating and that you're getting enough sleep. It's, it's extremely important. But what I want to say is um, any kind of old behavior, for example, let's say uh, maybe you're disorganized or you've been depressed or um, maybe you've had lots of conflict around you. This is a great time to say, I am now organized. I am now conflict free. And, nice. and the universe is going to support you. Does anyone have any questions? You're wrong about it. I'm conflict free. <laughs> conflict free. <laughs> <laughs> Would that not be wonderful? So what what I have noticed, and, and I'll tell you this personally, I 
tend to be disorganized. And rather than focus on, oh, look at how disorganized I am, my consciousness has shifted and, and I was getting a, like a like a really strong and powerful, you're organized. It's like when you pick something, I'm going to fix this old behavior. I'm going to remedy. You know, we all have patterns of behavior that may not be the prettiest, the best. And, and so instead of thinking about, look at how disorganized I am, look at how organized I am. Thank you. Look at how organized I am. And then take small steps to make that a reality. Okay. So the other thing that I want to say is that we, we really need to listen to children. Um, our, our children are so intuitive. I was with my, my grandson today and he's swinging in the swing and I kept asking him, do you want to go lay down? He looked like he wanted to fall asleep. And then all of a sudden he just, he threw up. And, but the, the thing of it is, is that things can shift so quickly. So quick, like one minute he's fine and happy and the next minute, uh, you know, not so much. So we're getting downloads. Our intuition is coming online. Even if you haven't had great intuition, you're going to find it's, it's getting more clear. And so in this, we need to slow down, take a step back and listen to the guidance. And the more quiet in our mind, the, the more apt we are to listen to the guidance. So if there's a lot of mind chatter, there are mantras and I will be giving you mantras towards the end. But right now, what I want to do is, do you see me in the center of your screen? I just want to be sure here. Yeah, I see you. Okay. Am I in the middle of the screen for all of you? Is that how you see me? Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. So yep. the meditation, we're only going to do this for just a few minutes, but I promised you to move out of chaos because there has been so much chaos on the planet. And I'm just going to pull up the chat. So if you have anything specific, thank you, Kayla. And it's great to see you here. Um, if you have a specific request for something you want to, to have cleared, you can put it in the chat. There's no shame in asking for something specific. And if you want, you can send me a private. If it's something personal, no problem. But I will be focusing on the chat and what you request as we go. Um, but here is this meditation. It's called the caliber for constant self-authority. So if you aren't sure of yourself, if you don't feel um, whole, complete, um, grounded, this is, this is really, really good for getting you in your body so that you feel empowered. And the issue with caliber, so what does caliber mean? Caliber is the ability to maintain the projected status, you know, of you, your person, and activity of our committed self. Who are you? Who are you in the world? And so when we become our own directive, this is what we're moving towards. Authority then is the, the psyche can fulfill the self. So if you don't feel happy with yourself, if you aren't happy with life, this one, it's a powerful meditation and it's it's going to look so simple and you're going to think what how could this possibly change the way i feel it's amazing so we're we're going to put our thumbs into our fists and, and so that you see how my thumb is in there and we're putting our fists together like this fists are together and fists are going to be in front of our heart chakra the middle of our chest okay and I'm just looking at this. So our knuckles are touching, fists are together, and you're going to fix your eyes on the tip of your nose. So this is giving your eyes a focus, the tip of your nose. You hear that, the nose on your face. There's no mantra that we're gonna say, it's just breathing. So the first inhale is through the nose. 
So we will be doing this together, but I'll model it first. So inhale through the nose, exhale through pursed lips, like you're kissing someone. And then inhale smoothly from the mouth, exhale through the nose. And that, my friends, boy, oh boy, I felt that all the way down my spine. One breath cycle. And it's it's really, really powerful. So you're putting your, your thumbs inside your fists. Your knuckles are touching here in front of your heart chakra. And your focus is on the tip of your nose. I'm going to play some music. And we're going to do this for about two minutes. Okay. So does anybody have any questions before we start? Okay. So thumbs inside the fists, knuckles touching. Thumbs inside the fists, knuckles touching, and our, our fists are in front of the heart chakra. Okay, here's the first breath through the nose, inhale through the nose, Ex exhale through pursed lips. Breathe in through the mouth smoothly. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through pursed lips. Inhale through the mouth smoothly. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through pursed lips. Inhale smoothly through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. You'll feel yourself coming to a calmer state. Inhale through the nose. Remember to focus on the tip of your nose with your eyes. Exhale through pursed lips. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. <laughs> I got confused there for a second here. Okay, as I think, as soon as I start thinking, I forget where I'm at. So inhale together through the nose. Exhale through pursed lips. Inhale smoothly through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through pursed lips. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through pursed lips. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through pursed lips. Breathe in smoothly from the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through pursed lips. Inhale smoothly from the mouth. Exhale through the nose. All right. So I probably confused you a little there. All right. So now 
you are free to lay down, sit back, and I'm going to turn the music off. I find, I think it's distracting. We have too much noise in our world as it is. So you are welcome to lay down, sit however you want to be. Um, I am going to be focusing on all of the things that you're asking me to help. It's relieving stress, anxiety, fear. Here's the thing is there's a lot going on on the planet. The more we focus on the darkness, the more we focus on, oh my goodness, there's war, the more off kilter we get. All of that is going to continue happening. Do not focus on it. Focus on the direction you want to head. If you have problems, the more you give it attention, the bigger the problems become. And so if you want to be happy in this world, there is a lot going to be going on between now and 2035. And so if we get caught off guard and we focus on what the politicians are doing, it's, it's a distraction. It is not what our focus is meant to be. And even in the Bible, it says, during the end of times, do not focus on the disasters. Do not focus on the challenges. Don't focus on what the demons are doing, what the satanics are doing. Don't do that because you'll get stuff on you. So stay in the light, stay focused on the direction you want to go. All right. So thank you so much for being here. Um, I'll invite your, your um, feedback at the end. I'd love to hear. And I've got some mantras for manifestation to, you know, I, I do teach manifestation. It is part of what we do here on a daily basis. So I have a, a little grid um, with, so I'm helping you manifest the money that you need for whatever it is you desire. Um, there's love here to um, amplify the love in your heart. And we are focusing on eliminating any shadow, any dark, and of course, suffering and that sort of thing. That's where we're going to be focusing. So I would like you to keep breathing. Do not hold your breath. Notice how you feel right now. If you have a pen and paper in front of you, uh, I would love for you to tell me on this piece of paper, on a scale of one to 10, how happy do you feel currently? One to 10, uh, one being not very happy at all, 10 being ecstatic, blissful. How happy are you in your life right now? It could be a zero to 10 and just put down a number, something that's meaningful to you. And anxiety, how high is your anxiety currently? Okay. What I will say is if you have a, a high number with anxiety, we we can that gives me a lot to work with and and I'm I'm very grateful for your sharing. Okay. Okay. And um how fearful do you feel about where we're going, where the world is headed, what what's going to happen here on the planet? How fearful do you feel? Um Okay. All right. Again, what I just want to reiterate, the Bible even says, do not focus on the negative. Don't focus on the disaster. Don't focus on, you know, all of these. We're, they're actually trying to torture us with the news. So I don't watch the news. I don't have a television anymore. Haven't had one now for eight years. And so... The, the less media that you can view, um, the better. Listening to high vibe music, there's lots of it on YouTube, would be very beneficial. All right, so I'm going to start with a prayer, everybody. And um, here we go.
I pray that this healing for each and every person that witnesses it is in their highest and best good and for the highest and best of all humanity. I ask for the angels to assist the ascended masters to guide And I ask for God's healing light. Call on the blue ray, the white light, white ray, the six ray. And I call forth everyone's I am presence to, to be here. So I'm connecting with each of your high selves, working with radiant God on high. All right, clearing the six bodies comprising the soul. Clear, remove, replace, elevate, and educate committing members to the highest level in chart three. Clear vortexes and portals and close, clearing any dark energies, negative energies, dark worms, wormholes, toxic streams, Illuminati. Calling forth white light, golden light, the violet flame to surround us all, keeping us in an envelope and of protection. Calling in Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael. All right. Just keep breathing and uncross your arms and legs. You can place uh, a hand on your heart chakra, if you like, the middle of your chest. And you can even say to yourself, I release what no longer serves me. All right, clearing the six bodies comprising the soul. Clearing discarnates, discarnates in possession, discarnates in the aura, discarnates from past lives. And some of the things I'm saying, you may find they don't make sense to you. It's okay. You can ask questions if you if you would like to know later. But the, the thing of it is, is that just know the heaviness is going to be lifted. You're going to feel lighter, more whole, less afraid. We will be working on the fears in a big way. Okay, you may feel tingling. You may yawn. And all of this is your body releasing. It's a perfectly natural phenomenon. Make sure you have water either with you or to drink afterwards. It's really important to drink lots of water after an energy session. So I am going to unplug everyone from the world energies. 95% of the thoughts we think are not even ours. Did you know that? They're coming from the mass consciousness. So if it's okay with you, I'm going to unplug you from the mass consciousness. So I'm asking to open a contract with your high selves to unplug you from the mass consciousness of fear and lack. And I ask to close this contract with your high self. Clearing subconscious clutter. Clearing webs, cords, hooks, psychic hooks. Clearing conscious and subconscious memory. Clearing the cellular memory. Clearing anti-time conflict. Clearing soul programs, polarity beliefs, genetic beliefs. Clearing any soul contracts. Any contracts that are still remaining, I ask to cancel and burn. Any contracts still, I'm asking that they be fulfilled and completed. I ask to open a contract to unplug you from the decaying universe. Clearing toxic streams, belief of beliefs, the desire to escape. Clearing the dissipation of vital energies. This will supercharge your vibration and your energy. Check and charge to full capacities. Clearing any block chakras. Balance positive and negative energy, please. Clearing any karmic beliefs. Clear the loss of subconscious integrity.
clearing astrological beliefs, clearing any contaminated soul energies. All right, so I'm going to work on the anxiety and the fears first so that you can relax. So I asked to wrap this anxiety in a ball of love, just surround it with love. I'm asking you to clear all the anxiety, take a nice deep breath. Exhale, clearing abandonment, clearing rejection. Clearing love unreceived. Clearing effort unreceived. Oh, it feels like somebody got sucker punched, like a punch to the gut. So um, I'm going to see, okay. That's self-doubt, all right. Clearing self-doubt. Clearing webs, cords, hooks, psychic hooks, vows, contracts, oaths, and agreements. All right, so I'm asking you to clear all. Clear all holes, rips, openings, tears in your auric field. All right, so let's clear fear. So there's two ways actually to feel fear. You might feel worried. And what I will tell you that my guides have said about worry, it's a waste of energy. It's a waste of precious life force and it does absolutely no good. Um, I used to be a big worrier. It started in my childhood and if if you had any kind of either domestic violence or abuse in your childhood or, you know, negativity, um, you could be worried, you know, a fearful type child. And worry can become a terrible habit. And, and so we have to stop it and know I am safe. I am protected. I am loved. So staying in faith instead of fear can help. Praying can help. So I'm just going to remind you at the very end, I'm going to give you some really powerful mantras that will very, very strongly help you in multiple ways. Hey, everybody breathe. So I'm clearing fearfulness. If you've ever spent time with somebody that is fearful, it, it can be very contagious. Take a nice deep breath. Fill your lungs all the way to the top and exhale completely. If you would like to say something to yourself while we're doing this energy clearing, a powerful statement is, I am loved. And allow this just to radiate out of your heart. And it is absolutely true. You are all loved. Every one of us is loved. We're loved by creator. We love, we're loved by the earth, the sun, the moon, the stars the plants, the trees, the animals. We are loved. There is another thing that's coming to light. And, and I, I did a 
a video about it recently, loneliness, people being lonely, even in relationships. Well, this has to do with your connection to source, which is always there, but you could believe that it's been broken. And so we need to strengthen our connection with source, with God. How do we do that? Well, you can pray, you can meditate, you can do I am statements. My mighty I am presence is governing for all. You're tapping into the, the God that surrounds you, that is in you, that is around you always. So I am being called to clear some past lives. Now, whether you believe in past lives or not, it's okay. Um, you'll still find you'll get the value here. Okay, I'm going to clear sadness first. I'm, I'm hearing some things from your soul speaking. Okay, sadness. Eliminating sadness. Take a nice deep breath. Remember to keep everything uncrossed. You can even turn your palms upward to be open to receive this energy. Now the left hand is the one that receives, the right hand is the one that sends. And so my guides and the ascended masters wanted me to teach you this, that with the left hand, you can even announce, I'm open to receive, hold your left hand up. And then with the right hand, most of us have gut issues, you know, whether it's the gut fear, um, our gut health is, is very important, having uh, probiotics, prebiotics, um, clearing parasites and that sort of thing. All right, so we're gonna take the right hand and you're going to do a circle on your abdomen, just gently sending energy into your belly and you're going to go uh, starting at your navel point going to the left and down and around wow Breathe, make sure you're breathing while you're doing that energy. So do, you do it about six different circles going slowly around your belly with it sending energy into the belly. Okay, so I'm gonna clear discordant energies. Discordant energies are any kind of negativity that we may have, thoughts that I'm not good enough, uh, this'll never work, that'll never happen, I'll never get well. So let's get rid of all of those. Remember the thoughts you think create your reality. So you want them to be positive. And um, the Ascended Master Saint Germain says, if you want fewer problems, take your focus off them. It's like taking your foot off the gas pedal because the more you focus on your problems, the greater they become. So stop focusing on them. If it's a health issue, I am vibrantly healthy. I am healed, whole and complete. And if you say these mantras on a daily basis, you're going to find things shift radically for you. I am loved. I am safe. I am protected. Clearing sorrow. Clearing grief. Clearing depression. Clearing anxiety. The other thing I want to just reiterate is that our thoughts are heard. So if you think God doesn't know what you're thinking, 
you've got another thing coming. God knows everything. A, holy cow, big flash there. Right, God? God was just like, yes, I do. I hear it all. So you cannot hide anything from God, not a thing. So the more honest that we can be, the more kind that we can be, the more loving that we can be, the better it is. And you might say, well, there's people on the planet that aren't mean. Well, don't focus on those people. I mean, that aren't kind. There's people that aren't kind. Yes, there are. Don't focus on those people. And I will tell you, when you make an intention in the morning for your day, wow, what a difference. Like, I will make an intention in the morning. I intend for this day to be filled with joy, peace, love, kindness, and some laughter. And it is amazing how you make that statement, what you would like your day to be. It's this governing rainbow. That it's just amazing how it will shift your day. Okay, so then <laughs> my guides are saying, focus. If you have attention deficit, now I have attention deficit, but I've learned to train my mind to focus. And, and one of the things is to slow down the thinking and use mantras. If your mind is, is running around in circles, your mind is in control instead of you. So we put a saddle on that mind and we make it our, our bitch. <laughs> I don't like the word bitch, but that one, everybody can relate to that. So you give your mind something to do. Your mind is like a border collie. If you don't guide it, it will run amok. It will. So I just, I like the idea, I, if you've ever ridden a horse, you know, you, you just a, a gentle tug on the reins to one side or the other. And it's the same thing with the mind. If, if your mind is sharing all sorts of negative thoughts, you do this. Thanks for sharing. That's not part of my reality. I am loved. I am safe. I am vibrantly healthy. Breathe, everybody. I am whole and complete. So clearing anything that is not whole and complete. I'm clearing worrying. So I'm clearing some things silently because some of you are triggered by words. Oh, <laughs> so I'm not sure which one it was, but one of the Ascended Masters said that you are kinder to strangers than you are to yourself. So you need to be kinder to yourself. Let the past be in the past. I'm clearing overwhelm. How is everyone's anxiety? Is it better? I want to know, is it, has it gone down? Okay. 
So breathe. And while I'm doing this, continue to do the mantra, I am loved. Okay, thank you. Can you hear the thought that you're thinking? Remember, anxiety is focusing on or anticipating a future event. If you're not present, you're going to have anxiety. Okay. So how do you get present? You breathe. Instead of holding your breath, you breathe deeply. All right, so I'm getting that there's a fear of war. Um, I got news for you. There's war everywhere. It's already happening. And there's been a war in the heavens for at least 10 years. And it's really amped up. So it's happening on heaven, uh, on he in heaven, on earth, everywhere. All right, so just take a nice deep breath. All right, so what's coming forth is a couple of past life clearings. So I'm going to do that for everyone. Um, so lifetimes of suffering and um, trauma, we're going to clear those. Remember to uncross your arms and legs. So repeat in your mind, I am safe. I am loved. Fear, abandonment, despair, self-punishment, guilt, self-punishment, hate. This is all part of this past life clearing. Hate, clearing hate. We, we really don't want to hate anything. It's, it's a really powerful word. Okay, hate, hate of God, hate of life, hate of men, hate of self, hate of women, anger, doubt. Here goes the doubt, everyone. All right, is this enough to clear the lifetimes? Is this enough to clear the programs? I asked to clear the lifetimes and the programs, burn the roots, branches, and seeds. Sever, disconnect, dissolve, decreate across all time and all dimensions. Clear across all time and all timelines. Right. Things are starting to lift. You may feel some weird stuff in your head. Um, you may receive a download during this session. 
What is a download? Well, it is a gift from God, gift from the heavens, and it is an upgrade. Could be a consciousness shift. It could be something that creates more empowerment for you. Excuse me one second. I've got to, I've got to close my curtains. There's too much light in my face. Still there. Pardon me, everybody. All right. All right. How are you feeling? Clear fear. Clear worry. Clear lack. So one of the things that I, I want to tell you is stop focusing on the gas prices are going up. The groceries, have you seen the price of bread? Have you seen the price of milk? Stop, stop looking at it. We need it. Just do it. Just buy it. Don't comment about it. Don't focus on it. Don't think about it. What good does it do if we complain, bitch, moan? It, it does. It spirals us downward. So you don't want to be complaining about the prices. Complaining isn't a good thing. It doesn't help you whatsoever. So th this is that was just a note from um, <laughs> they were just commenting. So just like you don't want to focus on the hip hop community and the sat satanic um whatever is going on in hollywood and elsewhere is it's 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 going to be amping up it will continue to amp up but we're not to look at it so don't pay attention to the stuff you have no control over and what do you have control over yourself the way you feel the things you think the things you say Negativity is contagious. So I'll, I'll tell you a little story. One of my first jobs, I got, I, I'm Canadian. So I was working at this really boutique store in downtown Toronto. I was so excited. I got fired because I was so negative. You know, all my parents were negative. All they did was complain and criticize. <laughs> so we don't want to be like our parents. We don't want to. We don't want to use the, um, the programs that we were created with. We want to shift into a higher vibe. So, okay. Yeah, I used to feel absolutely crazy, like that shit crazy. I don't anymore. And my mind, perfectly quiet. So if you want to get a quiet mind, I know exactly what to do to help you. It's not that it's not rocket science. I'm I, I'm not I am not a biochemist or anything. <laughs> All right, everybody breathe, smile to your heart. Well, okay. So so let me just say what we need to not do is say I must be crazy. I am crazy. You don't want, so don't give that energy. I am whole. I am complete. I am loved. Do you see what I'm saying? That's where you focus your energy. I am calm. All right. So another past life. Here we go. So I'm asking you to clear the past life of trauma where people um, were fear, fearful for their lives, whether it was uh, a wartime, time of brutality. So I'm asking you to clear this for the highest and good, best for all. Past lives, past lives in other dimensions, future lives, organ language, self-punishment. Present life already happened. So some of you have already experienced these things, experienced trauma from a past life. Blame, forsaken, feeling. Now, God has not forsaken you and never will. 
never will. Breathe. Tell yourself, I am loved. Victimization, violence, warring, vengefulness, unworthiness, unhappiness, unforgiveness. These are all the things that are being cleared. Terror, suffering, suicide, self-doubt, self-pity. So I'm asking to clear all of these. Is this enough to clear the lifetimes? Is this enough to clear the programs? Clear the lifetimes and the programs. Burn the roots, branches, and seeds. Sever, disconnect, is all. Decreate across all time and all dimensions as if it never was. Clearing guilt. So if you were raised by a narcissist, guilt could be a prevailing theme in your life. It is no longer one in mine. I have really worked hard to overcome that. A spirit is saying again, this is another here, I'm getting commentary here, um, that if you have a problem and things aren't going well, don't keep pushing ahead. Take a step backwards. Stop what you're doing. Don't keep pushing forward. Sit with it for a couple of days. Meditate. Ask questions. What is the best course of action for this issue? And wait to see what guidance you receive. Oh, the other thing that I'll tell you about the eclipse, uh, you may find yourself being guided to speak to certain people. Um, you may be, um, you know, people may be put in your path and in, in your life. They may show up to help you. Um, I have a, a, a friend here in Boulder who needed an attorney. And um, it's funny because my dog Yoda went right up to this woman where she's laying on her stomach reading a book in the park and he picked her, guess what? She was an attorney. And so she is contacting the people that she knows to help my, my friend. It's amazing. So this is, this is the thing. I know I am always guided. I believe that. I have faith in that. So what you believe, and I'm going to be, so I want you to uh, think about the beliefs that you hold about yourself. And if there's anything that you know to be true, Okay, if, if you know it to be true, can you write down the belief? Because limiting beliefs can be cleared. So this is what I would say, Elizabeth, for you. I am always guided. My guidance is strong. The problem is if you have too much mind chatter and you, you letting your thoughts just get carried away, you're not guiding your mind with mantras, that's what you do. You don't let your mind run amok like a border collie. So <laughs> there, I had a, a vision that I was going to have a border collie. And I called my vet. And this is when I was living in Georgia. I, this very powerful vision. I had just lost two dogs. They were hit by one car. Everything in my life at that time was falling apart. And I called my vet. There's a point to this story. I called my vet. I said, I had a vision that I should have a border collie. So I know there's one coming to me. And she she spent 20 minutes trying to talk me out of it. You don't want a border collie because if, if you don't give them a job, they'll make one. Well, that's exactly what your brain is like, a border collie. So you have to give your brain something to do. Don't allow it to just run amok. I am loved. I am safe. I am protected. You do the, you just float them that through the background of your mind while you're driving your car, while you're walking your dog, while you're swimming in the, in the lake, in the pool, wherever you swim. You just slowly float these mantras through the background of your mind 
and it will guide your mind to more positive thinking and results. Everyone has intuition, but if you allow your mind to go bananas and just run amok and run you, then your mind is running you instead of you running the show. All right. Clearing from the point of origin, burn the roots, branches, and seeds, sever, disconnect, dissolve, decrease across all time in all dimensions as if it never was. All right, I'm being guided to clear panic attacks. I'm asking to clear, hang on a second, I have to I have to regroup. I'll do panic attacks in just a second. So I'm clearing negativity. So I'm asking to clear all past lives and the past life energies of hate, hate of life, hate of men, hate of women, anger, fear, helplessness, guilt, depression, negativity, and self-punishment. Um, so I'm going to comment, Liz, you have a comment here about agreed, but I need to take, get clarity and take action. So the guidance I'm getting on you specifically is no, you don't not right now, because if you do, you'll push a bad move. If things have been going wrong. And, and you just keep pushing and pushing because you think you need to take out. So, okay, I'm clearing ego. Clearing your ego to be less than 4% and sole purpose is to be a single digit number. So our ego mind, when it is too loud, <laughs> we need to tone it down. Thanks for sharing. Remember, thanks for sharing. There's such a thing, and this was a book written by David R. Hawkins, Power Versus Force. Power is way more powerful than force. And if you keep pushing and pushing and pushing, you are using force. It's like trying to take a square peg and pound and pound and pound it into a round hole. It doesn't work. And things are going to just get worse and worse for you. So the message that you are all getting is slow down, take a step back, pray, meditate, sit in silence before you do anything. Get some guidance. And everybody gets guidance. And the more quiet that your mind is, the more able you'll be able to hear it. Now, it could be a gut feeling, a gut instinct. And we all get those. You need to trust your body. Your body never lies. I'm 
I'm clearing helplessness. Clearing hopelessness. Okay, so now there's another one. Um, it's called error consciousness. And error consciousness is where you feel like you can't do a freaking thing right. That everything you do is wrong. Okay. You make dumb and excusable mistakes and you keep making them, keep making them. So I'm clearing this for you now. This is huge. All right. So I'm clearing all past lives related to error consciousness and failure. All right. Clearing these past life energies now and forevermore across all time and all dimensions and clearing from the Akashic records, clearing fear, self-doubt, guilt, hate of self, alcoholism, spiritual suicide, doom, unhappiness, unworthiness, unforgiveness, and self-limitation. Wow, everybody take a, neat, a nice breath. Exhale slowly like a waterfall. Ah. So apparently there's some disbelief there. So for those of you that don't believe it was clear, <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> okay, so I'm clearing it again. This is what I want you to say to your heart. I have faith it is done. Clearing past life energies of fear, self-doubt, guilt, hate of self, alcoholism, spiritual suicide, doom, separation. Unhappiness. unworthiness, unforgiveness, and self-limitation. I ask to clear it now forevermore, cross all times, all timelines, and clear also from the hurt body, mind, emotions, and the soul records. I, I'm going to go back to the panic attacks. I'm writing it down so I don't forget, okay? But I can't do it just yet. I'm being guided to do something else first. So I'm clearing high blood pressure. I don't know which one of you it is that has it. Uh, 70 percent of high blood pressure is from past lives. So I'm asking to clear all past life energies of self-limitation, self-destruction, depression, frustration, hate of life, health abuse, and self-punishment. Float the mantra, I am safe. I am loved. So I'm clearing confusion. You know, if your mind is a little confused, you feel dysfunctional. Um, what I am doing currently is establishing correct um, transference of brainwave energy between the cells, between the left and the right hemisphere of the brain.
I don't think so, Kayla, uh, but I can address that. Um, it has to do with the triple warmer. Oh, I'm also supposed to talk to you about a little bit about TCM, traditional Chinese medicine. Um, and why is that? Well, I have studied um, traditional Chinese medicine. Um, I have studied acupuncture, acupressure. Um, these are all modalities that I believe in wholeheartedly. And it, it, on my healing journey, I've used all all of these things. I, I have taken the most disgusting Chinese herbs, antler, uh, fuzz, you know, you cook this stuff in a pot and it makes the house smell like, I don't know, <laughs> the worst smell you could possibly imagine. <laughs> it's worse than that. Um, but I have, I have drunk in a lot of different tonics and, uh, and submitted to a lot of different things in order to heal myself. Um, but anyway, um, what I will say is um, we're self-cleaning ovens. We are meant to be self-healers. So if you have an issue, you've created it with your mind and you can decreate it with your mind. The problem is, is that when you're trying to do it on your own, you may find yourself, you know, kind of like in a paper bag. You can't get yourself out of a paper bag because you continue to think the same way. You need to shift the way you think. Hence the mantras. Quiet the mind with the mantras. And you're going to say, well, well that's, that's telling my mind to do so. Yes, but it's a calming influence as opposed to the dysregulating thoughts that you've been currently thinking. Everybody breathe. I know you're hungry. I am too. I can feel it. <laughs> okay. You'll be able to eat dinner pretty soon. Pretty soon. How are you all feeling? Clearing shame. I'm going to clear mental confusion. So I'm asking to clear past life energies of doom, guilt, doubt of God, and self limitation. Clear for now, clear noun for all time as if it never was, cross all. Times, all timelines, and clear from the Akashic Records, please. Thank you. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Good. So a lot of these things were kind of wound up together. So I have to eliminate something to clear something else. That's kind of how it works. Good. I'm glad you're feeling better. So I just, I, I want to let you know, I am, I'm being guided to offer an introductory session of $97 to everyone on this call. So this is, we all need help, right? We all need help. And Spirit has been telling me I need to make my sessions more affordable to more people. So that, hence the $97 introductory session. Yes, I'm giving it to all of you. Yes. Everybody breathe. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome.
All right, I'm cl clearing. Cl <laughs> You're very welcome. Um, I'm clearing. I can't even say it. I'm just going to do it. I can't even say it. So I'll tell you what this is. What I am doing right now. Emotional confusion that has been carried over from past lives. It has been a conviction to mental problems, mental health problems. In other words, so somebody may have convinced you that you were insane and thus causing mental health problems. If you've ever been in a narcissistic relationship, they try to make you feel like you are effing nuts. And you do. No, that, that color black is not black. What you see isn't black. It is not. It's white. That type of thing. So that's what I'm working on right now. This is huge. So here's the thing that I want to tell you. And this, I, I understand that this is a blanket statement, but... I feel like whatever I say is going to help somebody in the group, if not all of you, is that there's an ebb and flow in the universe. And what society teaches us is push, 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 go, 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 do, do, do. It's bass backwards. There's an ebb and flow. There is, you know, the song, there's a, Know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. That song, that should be an anthem for our lives because if you don't know when to stop, when to shut your mouth, when to do nothing, when to rest, you will push a bad move. Like trying to fix your own plumbing when you're not a plumber. Don't do it. Don't do it. Disaster in the making. That's an ego construct. You're not a plumber. Don't do your own plumbing. All right, I'm supposed to clear sadness again. So there's spiritual laws in the universe and they are operating all the time in the unseen. There's the law of cause and effect. So when you do this, that happens, right? There's a law of vibration, like attracts like, birds of a feather, right? So, hello God. <laughs> So these laws are, are you know, I, I used to teach them. I, I had a, a course on understanding the universe. But I will go over those with you if you're interested. Okay, so does anyone need anything else? Because it is already, you know, we're over an hour. Oh, good, Karen, I'm so glad. So I just want to address making mistakes. So um, I used to talk about to myself, to God, uh, about all the mistakes I made. But here's the thing. We need to perceive things differently. If you, if you look at something differently, what you look at changes. 
So let's just say you've had multiple marriages like I have, right? And now I will tell you, initially, I felt guilt. I felt shame. Um, I, I was embarrassed that people would look down upon me. Now I, I don't care what anybody else thinks of me. I, I really don't. I know I'm good with me. I'm good with God. All of those relationships taught me something about me. I learned something from every single relationship I've had. So when we look at life differently, life becomes a joy. Is, is anybody constipated? You could send me a private message. You don't have to admit this to the world, but I've hit this twice. I, it's come across my consciousness twice, but I don't want to clear it unless, hey, I love that. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm clearing depression again. Depression become a habit, can become a habit. And it takes willpower to break a habit. So I'm clearing major energies of this habit of depression. Um, depression and self-punishment. I'm asking you to clear this now forevermore as if it never was. Okay. All right. Chemical imbalance. I'm going to do that too. Okay. All right. Clearing, uh, no, past, I'm clearing past life energies for constipation. So clearing all past life energies of hate, anger, hate of life, hate of men, hate of God, all of those things cause constipation. So I'm asking you to clear this now forevermore as if it never was clear across all times and all timelines. Um, there's a couple more things I'm going to clear is indigestion and toxicity. How is everybody? Are you doing okay? Are you okay to stay a little bit longer? Even though you're hungry? You know, somebody's hungry. What was the other indigestion and toxicity? Does anyone have fibromyalgia? Okay, working on the heart right now. Uh, the heart holds a delicate balance between love and hate. Okay, good. I'm asking to clear these energies, please, from past lives. Um, frustration, forsaken by life, hate of women, hate of men, injustice of life, despair, doubt of mankind, separation from God, and self-destruction. Clear now forevermore as if it never was. Oh, Kayla, I'm glad. That's awesome. Good. All right. How's everyone's anxiety? Clearing past life energies of guilt, frustration, hate of self, hate of life, hate of others, alcoholism, depression, self-limitation, and self-punishment. Elizabeth, I'm not sure what you mean. What do you mean? Okay, I'm clearing toxicity. Oh, um, I'm doing a little thing for menopause for anybody that's going through it. 
So this may have that help that anxiety before the hot flash. Everybody breathe. Um, this one is for lung issues. I'm working on this. Excuse me, just one second. I had somebody bring me food yesterday and today, and I didn't, didn't even ask for it. So all my needs are met. There's a great and powerful mantra. All my needs are met. Okay, that was respiratory uh, stress. So I'm asking to clear the spleen for everybody. I asked to, to clear all past life energies of anger, hate of life, hate of men, hate of women, betrayal, depression, self-limitation, and sexual abuse. Let's clear all past life energies of frustration, hate of life, hate of self, depression, self-destruction, failure, despair, self-limitation, guilt, self-destruction, and unforgiveness. Clear them all now forevermore and clear from the hurt body, mind, emotions, and the soul records. Thank you. So eliminating stress goes along with the worry. Clearing tension. Take a nice deep breath, everybody. Exhale. So one of the things that um, I've started doing is um, fish oil. I was at a conference and um, it helps a lot with inflammation. I don't know if you knew that. So I don't eat a lot of fish. Um, so if you're interested in this product, I don't get anything from it. Um, but there is also the masterpiece zeolite that takes away the graphene, heavy metals, and clears the body of parasites. Everybody has parasites. If you have anxiety, you have parasites. If you eat food, you have parasites. If you eat salad, you have parasites. If you eat, um, what is it, sushi, you have parasites. It is not a third, third world issue. Everybody. So, okay, yes, reorder masterpiece. Yeah, I, I am going to be ordering my third bottle. And if you want the link, I can send it to you. 
So Kayla's been on it. Uh, I guess she's been on it a month now. Yeah. So I'm about to go on to my third bottle. And I will tell you this, I do a parasite cleanse every year. And, and I, <laughs> okay. All right. And second here, I'm going to get it for you right now. All right, everybody, I got it. Here it is. Okay. There you go. And if you'd like to, so I am in the process of changing calendars. If you would like to book a session with me, send me an email, please. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so I'm clearing toxicity. So clearing all past life energies. Have you noticed this is all past life stuff? Clearing all past life energies of hate, hate of life, hate of men, hate of women, anger, health abuse, bitterness, doubt of life, self-destruction, excessive guilt. That's from misuse of the body. Clear now for all times as if it never was. Clear your ego to be less than 4%. Soul purposes to be a single digit number. Clear soul fragments to their highest possible blueprint level and reassimilate back into your body and energy body. I ask to clear accidents, illness, Alzheimer's, and dementia. All right, so there were some limiting beliefs that we need to clear. The more that we tell ourselves we aren't enough, we're not good enough, we'll never amount to anything, we are perpetuating past programming from childhood. I am enough. I am loved. I am successful. Okay, so I, I'm going to give you those manifestation mantras. Are you ready? Do you have something to write with? These are really powerful. All right, you want, okay telling me to ding the bowl again i shall ding the bowl all right apparently i have to change this here let's see Remember to drink lots of water. And if you sweat, you need more than just water. You need electrolytes. Magnesium it is needed by the body. It eliminates leg cramps. It helps with elimination. Um, it helps with that restless leg syndrome. Uh, and most people are deficient in both vitamin D, D3, and I love that. <laughs> and magnesium. All right, so here are the mantras. Are you ready? They're powerful. I am. Do you notice when you start a mantra with the I am, you are bringing in the powerful I am presence, the presence of the divine, the presence of God into the words. You are aligning your will with God's will. I am the riches of God flowing into my hands and use, meaning that you use the riches, that nothing can stop. I'm going to do this again. I am the riches of God flowing into my hands and use, that nothing can stop. So 
I can type this out. Okay, so that's one. I, <laughs> the, the mighty I am presence governs every existing channel through manifestation governing all. The, the presence I am governs every existing channel through manifestation governing all. All right, so I've got a couple more. Um, this is what I want to say to you about the mind. I've been talking about it. Saint Germain says this about it. You cannot serve two masters. What does that mean? Well, if you are focused, if you are focused on all the problems that you have, you are not focusing on the direction you want to go. You're focusing on the problems. You're creating more problems, more issues. Your focus is on the negative, the things you don't want. You turn your focus away from the problems and you focus on what you desire. That is how you manifest. And you raise your vibration. How do you raise your vibration? Well, through mantras, through prayer, through breath work, getting your energy cleared on a regular basis, taking a salt bath, that helps to eliminate negativity, getting in the ocean. All right. So when your attention is fixed on other things, like problems, issues, then you're going to get into trouble. Okay, so if you've got a problem, here's a mantra. Through the presence that I am, this thing, problem, will cease now. If somebody's harming you, this, this whatever relationship will cease now. So through the presence that I am, this issue will cease now. So when you are drinking your water, you charge it. Remember the right hand is the sending hand. Charge it with the mighty I am presence. I charge this with the mighty I am presence. I know it is acting with full power. And don't question whether it worked or not, Liz. <laughs> uh, through the presence that I am, this thing it will cease now. Absolutely. Uh, thank you. You are, you are awesome. So amazing. All right. Here's another one for you. I, excuse me, drink here. I am the governing presence. Governing, I am the governing presence, governing in perfect divine order, commanding harmony, happiness, and God's divine opulence in my home, my mind, and world. I'll do that one again. I am the governing presence. Boy, you can feel the power in those words. Wow, Kayla, you're amazing. I am the governing presence, governing in perfect divine order, commanding harmony, happiness, and God's divine opulence in my home, mind, and world. Absolutely. Uh, you can also add body. I mean, but basically your world is, you know, your body world. All right, is that it? I think that's... So there, there is something, um, uh, Kayla, Kayla <laughs> worked with me for a while and there is a YouTube channel, uh, Brian Scott, I love this guy, he has a bookstore and he has all these antique books and he reads them on his YouTube channel. Now there's two that are my favorite and if you want... <laughs> If you want 
a life change. Listen to the I Am Discourses of St. Germain. There's nine hours of them. And Kayla ended up buying the book, which I have not bought the book yet. So I have gone through this YouTube video and stopped it and stopped it to get these, uh, these mantras. Yeah, the I Am Discourses will change your life. So I will tell you, I, I had a client pass away. I was devastated, grieving, terrible loss. And then I got sick, of course, you know. Thanks. Thank you. Exactly. Um, and that's what got me out of the hole. Listening to the I Am Discourses. It, it's powerful. And then the, the second one is by Joseph Benner. Joseph Benner. So Kayla has just pointed out one of my favorites from that is I am the fulfilled activity and sustaining power of every constructive thing I desire. I am the fulfilled activity and sustaining power of every constructive thing I desire. Oh, the other thing I want to ask you, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I so would appreciate it. I've been sitting at, uh, they, they, you know, they cut my legs off, you know, whoever, I won't tell you who it is. I'm not going to mention any names. I was concerned about teenage suicide and I was trying to help kids and they didn't like the fact that I was trying to help kids with teenage suicide and they cut me off. They, you know, ruined my algorithm. So, yeah. Crazy. It's crazy because I can help people with suicide. If, if, you, if you know anybody with suicide ideation, I can clear it. Um, all right. So did I miss anything in this clearing? Is there anything that needs to be done? The limiting beliefs, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. All right. So I asked to clear the limiting beliefs. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, all right. So I'm asking to clear all past lives. I'm going to do it now. So this is a for suicide ideation. If anyone is having thoughts of suicide, um, what it is is a feeling that you um, would be better off dead. It's not true. It is, it is likely to be. Okay, all right. So I asked to clear all demon attachments. I asked to clear all entity attachments. I asked, uh, I asked to bind them and clear them all. Clear all satanics, demonics, dark forces, dark energies, negative entities, addictive souls. Clear them all. Bind and clear them all. All right. So I'm going to clear all past lives of suicide, suicide ideation, and suicide. So this, this is not going to infect anybody that is not suicidal. I don't want to worry you. All right. So I'm asking to clear all past lives where you have committed suicide. So all those past lives bleeding through to the now, I'm asking to clear them all. All right. Fear, abandonment, blame, forsaken, cancer, uh, frustration, self-limitation, self-punishment, domineering, selfishness, doom, separation, doubt, uh, self-doubt, self-pity, self-doubt, ego, Anger, hate of women, hate of self, hate of men, hate of life, hate of God, health abuse, anger, apathy, illness, appeasement, uh, insanity, betrayal, intolerance, jealousy, bitterness, judgmental, unforgiveness, unhappiness, unworthiness, vengefulness, warring, violence, victimization, denial, spiritual snobbery, torture, paralysis, hate of God, cruelty, restlessness, resentment, repression, rejection, oppression, panic, paranoia, negativity, living and believing in the fairy tale. I'm asking to clear all of these issues now and forevermore across all times and all timelines as if it never was and clear also from the Akashic records as all the soul records hurt mind by hurt body, mind, emotions and clear all blocks and interference. Thank you.
Did you see how I was being blocked? Yeah, it's quite interesting. I'm not afraid of you. So I ask to download the power codes and power symbols in the one known universe to your body and energy body. You're welcome, darling. You're welcome. I hope this helps many. All right. So I ask to clear the limiting belief that you are not enough. I ask to clear the limiting belief that you don't matter. I ask to clear the limiting belief that you're a problem or that you create problems everywhere you go. I ask to clear the limiting belief that you aren't enough. I ask to clear the limiting belief that you don't belong here. I ask to clear the limiting belief that you caused the divorce to happen. I ask to clear the limiting belief that you caused your father's death. You are not God. Yes, God flows through you, in you, around you, yes. But God is ultimately the one that takes people. And it's in divine timing. We don't know when it's going to be or how it's going to happen. So, let's clear all nonsense beliefs. That's what they're telling me. Clear the nonsense beliefs. Nonsensical beliefs. Let's restore your blueprint to its highest possible blueprint level. As to clear any negativity that may be associated with your original blueprint, Clear vows, contracts, oaths, and agreements. Webs, cords, hooks, psychic hooks, vows, contracts, oaths, and agreements. Clear them all. Okay. I ask to clear the seven lines, harmonize and align. I ask the wholeness committee to apply a spiritual healing. I ask your wholeness committee to apply a psychic wound healing. just want to make sure I get all of this and I know this has been long so clearing low self-esteem clearing lack of control clearing hopelessness clearing helplessness clearing failure feeling like a failure clearing anxiety I'm doing it again clearing despair clearing disgust clearing nervousness and worry clearing confusion defensiveness grief self-punishment stubbornness clearing sorrow sadness rejection discouragement crying Clearing anger, bitterness, guilt, hatred, resentment, clearing depression, frustration, indecisiveness, clearing panic taken for granted, clearing conflict, clearing creative insecurity, clearing terror, unsupported, wishy-washy, clearing pride, clearing shame, shock, unworthy, worthlessness, clearing humiliation, clearing jealousy, clearing longing, clearing lust, overwhelm, clearing abandonment, betrayal, forlorn, lost, Love unreceived, clearing effort unreceived, heartache, insecurity, over joy and vulnerability. Wow. I ask for an alpha to make a clearing, a zero time clearing, a clearing of all. I ask to guarantee everything is cleared. I ask to download the power codes and power symbols in the one known universe to your bodies and energy bodies. I'm going to wrap up a little bit. Thank you. All right. So may you be blessed. May you feel whole. May you feel loved.
May you be prosperous, abundant, wealthy, and healthy. May your health be restored to its original blueprint. Okay. Well, I am going to shut the recording off so that you can share. Well, thank you so much for being here and sending you lots of love. And if you'd like to book a session with me, go to my website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com. The link is in my profile. It is a business card and book with me. Thank you for being here.